everyone, I hope that you guys all who live in America had an amazing 4th of July. I know I did. I got to spend some really great time with my family and my husband, so that was super fun. And this month kind of marks the beginning of summer for us here in Southern California. Everyone got out of school at the end of last month, and now we're getting into our beautiful summer. So I wanted to share with you guys my summer essentials. Now, this is going to be everything from hair care, makeup, um, skin care, shaving, bathing suits, sunglasses, and a cool beach accessory. So I'm going to get into it before this movie gets really long. Movie, it's a video. Come on, people. So I'm going to start with hair care because it's the first thing that I can think of because I love hair care. So let me tell you a little bit about a few products that I recommend. You would have seen these in some of my favorites. These are my absolute favorites for summer especially. I'm going to start off with um, a dry shampoo because in the summertime you're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Maybe you need to wake up the next day and you're going out or something and you don't have time to wash your hair. This Rockaholic um, Bedhead Dry Shampoo, this is called Dirty Secret. It's great for in the summertime if you're like excessively sweating or something and you don't have time to take a shower or wash your hair. I hope you take a shower if you're sweating. But if you don't have time to wash your hair, just spray this on it. This is one of my favorites. Next, I'm going to go into a little bit more of hair care. You guys would have seen this in my last favorites. This is the L'Oreal Intense Repair Mask. This is wonderful for when your hair gets dehydrated, if you're out in the sun a lot. And if you want to do something a little bit more natural or organic, you can grab the Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. I get the unrefined. This is really great. You just kind of take a chunk off. You can either nuke it in the microwave for a few seconds because it has a very um, low heating point or whatever. I think it's like 70 degrees and this turns into an oil. And you can put that all over your hair, clip it up for about 10 minutes, or you can add this to your conditioner, just kind of melt it, add it in with your conditioner, and then run it through your hair. So for protective purposes, while you're out in the sun, or if you need additional hydration, keeping your hair healthy, heat protectant, this is my holy grail. You'll be seeing a few of my holy grails in this video. This is something that you'll see through every one of my videos since the very beginning I started YouTube. This is my baby. I will not go without it, especially in summertime. It protects your hair from heat. It replaces lost things like keratin. It defrizzes, adds shine, strengthens. It's just a miracle worker and a definite essential for my summertime. Because there is lots of sun in summertime, I always recommend to use an SPF, especially, especially because we do not want skin cancer or, you know, sunburns and stuff that's just going to hurt us. So, I have a few that I'm going to show you. This is kind of be like, kind of going to be like, here's this if you like this, here's this if you like that. So, for you girls who like to wear just sunscreen on your face or underneath your makeup, I recommend these two products. This is the Mary Kay um, TimeWise Sunscreen SPF. I love using something that's specifically for my face when it comes to sunscreen on my face because I don't want anything that's going to clog pores or create acne. So I love this one if you guys are into Mary Kay or products like that. I also love the Murad Oil Free Sunscreen. Now this one has, these are both 30 SPFs. I love that. Higher SPF for your face because we don't want to be getting cancer and wrinkles and all that type of stuff. Now for your body, I have two different things. If you are a lotion person, I recommend these two products. This is the Trader Joe's Refresh Broad Spectrum, wow, SPF 30. This is for face and body. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. And this is basically the same thing. It is just the Murad product. This is the water resistant sunscreen. It is 30 SPF. Love both of these. I use both of these. Um, just depends on whether you want to get it from Trader Joe's if you want to get it from an actual skincare company. Now if you're into misting yourself with the sprays, I recommend this product. This is the Sun Bum 30. They also have different um, levels of SPF, but this is the UVA, UVA, UVB protection. It is water resistant, super easy just to kind of coat yourself all over. That way you are covered from head to toe. So there are a few options for my favorite sunscreen. So after the sunscreen comes off, we need to protect our bodies, just add a little bit of hydration. This is going to be my like love of my life right now for summertime. 
Um, this is the Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. This is a body moisturizer. So I just apply it all over to my body. It's super hydrating. So I just put that all over my arms, my legs, my body, everything to keep it nice and hydrated. Now this other product, which is new, newer to me, but super amazing, this is the Murad Cleansing or Clarifying Body Spray. Now for those girls or guys who have acne on their chest or on their back, oh, that's so, so hard for when you're putting on your bathing suit and you just have blemishes on your back. This little baby is a 360 degree spray. You can spray it from any angle, great for your back. It has witch hazel, salicylic acid to help protect against blemishes and just fight those away so you look really clean and fresh for your summertime and you don't have to worry about being embarrassed. Now for your face to hydrate and moisturize after you get all that sun and everything, this is my go-to baby, my complete essential, my newfound love, the Murad Oil Control Mattifier. You guys are going to be hearing a lot about this because I freaking love it. It is also have an SPF of 15, but the great thing about this is when you put this on your face, whether you're going to be wearing makeup or you're going to bed, it's a really thick hydrating lotion and then it goes matte. So it keeps the oil at bay and makes sure that you just have a really flawless complexion and keeps you hydrated and protected from the sun. Summertime also reminds me that I need to shave like 50 times a day. So I'll share a little secret with you. This is not a girl's razor. This is a boy's razor. There's a reason why I shave with the boy's razor because boy's razors have way more razors because they shave on their face. So I actually use the Gillette. I think this is like the new Uniball shaver. It goes like this. It has five blades. It also has a little power button to vibrate, which I find helps me because it just goes in and kind of like breaks those stubborn hairs off even easier, especially when I'm shaving in sensitive places like my underarms or my bikini line. And what I use to shave with it is, this is kind of funny, it might be a little TMI for some of you guys, but this is called Coochie Cream. I know, really weird, right? But this stuff is a rash-free shave cream for sexy skin. I love it because it is super hydrating. It is almost like a conditioner and the best thing that I've found so far for shaving my bikini line and my armpits because I have really sensitive skin and I hate it when I get little red bumps or anything. With this stuff, I do not get red bumps. By the way, this stuff and this scent is called Frosted Cake. It literally smells, let me just take another whiff. It literally smells like a party cake scent. It smells amazing. I'll put a link down below so you guys can see where to get this. I highly recommend it. And I recommend Guy Razors. So to keep myself smelling fresh and gorgeous and everything else during summer, I have three little body mists that I love from Victoria's Secrets, of course, because they have a gazillion body mists. The first one is Sexy Little Things. This is the New York Summer. This is only available in the summer. Make sure that you check the label and get the right one. This was um, actually shown to me and recommended by my friend Hannah, and she loved it, and I tried it, and I love it because it's a little bit stronger, a little bit more sensual and sexy than just like the fresh, clean feeling ones. So this one is a great option for girls who don't like to wear a lot of perfume or can't wear a lot of perfume in their work environment and don't want to be a little bit heavier, want to be a little bit lighter. Then I also have one of my favorites. This is the Pink with a Splash Fresh and Fierce. This is just a nice, clean, fresh, kind of flowery, summery type of a mist. And then I have a um, Sparkling Citrus Citrus Dream. This is the Grapefruit and Red Lily. Great for girls who like to have a little bit more of a citrus, smesh, clean, smesh, fresh, smelling, clean feel. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking really fast and I probably am because I don't want it to be like a 30 minute video. So for you girls who love to wear perfume, this is, I can't get over this perfume. I love it so much and it is just the perfect like light fragrance for me. It's kind of different smelling. This is the Library of Flowers Wildflower and Fern. Super cute packaging, great smell, lasts a long time. Now this is something that I got from Sephora, it is the little daisy sampler, I got it in one of my rewards points and I have it backwards, it goes this way. I love this little bottle, I will be getting a full size once this runs out, but it is just a great like, kind of a little bit more light and fresh but good staying power and the packaging is a major seller for me. Getting into makeup, I have quite a lot of products for you guys, but I want to give you guys some options, so let's dig in. 
So just to let you guys know, I don't use primers every single time I do my face or my face makeup. I tend to go for my Urban Decay B6 Prep and Prime Spray. I love that because it's lightweight um, and it doesn't clog my pores or anything like that. But in summertime, if I'm going out, if I'm going on a date, if I'm going to dinner, if I'm going to a party or event, I like to use a primer. Now all the Smashbox primers are amazing, but because it's summertime, my face gets oily, all that, I recommend the Smashbox Photo Finish Blemish Control one. This is oil free. It doesn't have anything in it other than salicylic acid to help kind of combat anything in your face. And it's a great primer to kind of be your foundation to keep everything in place and last longer. So going in for foundations, because I'm more tan in the summer, I really don't wear a heavy cover coverage of foundation other than if I'm filming with you guys because the lights make you look a little bit crazy sometimes. So I tend to wear more of a tinted moisturizer. I have three of my favorites that I'm going to share with you today. This one looks like it's gone through hell and back because I've had it for a while and it lasts me a long time. This is the Benefit, um, I think this is called Your Rebel. This is their tinted moisturizer. Love this. It has a uh, sunscreen in it so it's kind of like a two-in-one and just covers up enough blemishes for me. I recommend this for kind of like combination to dry skin. It's really great, really hydrating and blends extremely well. The other one that I'm going to share with you is the Lorac CC Cream. Now I got this as a sample from Sephora because I love Sephora samples. I got I think three of them and this got, these guys are lasting me a long time from having to buy a full size. But this is what I'm wearing on my skin today. I feel like this is a happy medium between a foundation and a tinted moisturizer because it has a little bit more coverage but it's still enough to have my natural skin come through. Then if you want to get into actual foundation, I highly recommend with my whole heart the Revlon 24 Hour Color Stay Whipped Foundation. This baby is not going to budge. It's really great. It helps to mattify your skin and really keeps everything under control and in place and you don't have to worry about your makeup sliding or fading throughout the day. If you want to add a little bit of a dewy or glowy bronzy finish to your makeup, I highly recommend this little fun guide that I picked up a little bit ago. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This just adds, um, and this is called Gleam, this just adds a little bit of a bronzy kiss to your skin. I mix it in with my foundation or pop it on the apples of my cheeks. You can probably barely even see it. Just add some light sheen for if you want to go for that really pretty glow to your skin. So to keep my skin matte using a powder, I have two little face powders I want to share with you. So this one is the one that I set my makeup with at home. My holy grail. It's awesome. This is the Ramel Stay Matte Powder. And I get it either in the shade Natural or Translucent. I like Translucent powders because it's just going to give my foundation a like setting powder rather than adding a foundation over a foundation. So. I love this, absolutely amazing. And then what I keep in my purse is a little small kabuki brush with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the transparent finishing powder. So it's just a white powder, but it helps me to when I need to kind of go into any little areas that I have a little bit of an, you know, starting to get shiny. I just push this onto my skin and it helps to get rid of the shine. Now, if I'm still getting shiny, I go to these babies. I actually picked this up at Forever 21. This is the little oil blotting sheets. I think it was a dollar, maybe two dollars, but it has a bunch of these sheets. Great to pop in your purse, even if you're holding a little clutch. You just put it onto your skin and it gets rid of any excess oil. It kind of gets gross, but it removes any excess oil and then you can go in and put a little bit of a powder over it if you need to. So for a blush and highlighter, I wanted to share with you guys two of my favorites for summertime. This is the The Balm Cabana Boy. It's the blush that I'm wearing today, kind of lightly, but it is just this gorgeous, like perfect, I feel like it's kind of like a mauve with a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer to it just to give you a really gorgeous glow. And then on the top where I highlight, I go in with my e.l.f. blush. It's technically not a blush, it's a highlight. Um, this is the Gotta Glow. It's super similar, pretty much the um, dupe for NARS's Albatross, but it gives you this gorgeous glow that 
is a nice little shine and it has a matte finish to it with some kind of shimmer um, sheen to it. So it's not going to make you look like dewy dewy because it's a matte finish, but it has that nice shine to give you the really pretty highlight to your cheeks. To keep your eyeshadows from creasing and moving all over and destroying this beautiful creation that you've made, I recommend using an eye primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, one of the best ones going around. You will know about it because it's all over YouTube. As well as the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer, this one is really amazing too. They're both flesh tone color, so they help to cancel out anything on your lids as well as protect your shadows to keep them in place especially during hot hot summer heat and humidity great options to keep your eyeshadows in place then if you want a great all over eyeshadow palette this is the the balm um, balm voyage I love this palette because on the inside you have a great array of very large eyeshadows you have some of your darkers with a little bit of shine your two neutral mattes right here as well as this one right here great transition blending as well as your cream I feel like a lot of palettes miss out on the matte cream color and then you have a really fun purple some blues a yellow and then you flip open the bottom and there are three lip colors right here so perfect for traveling going anywhere you have pretty much everything right here and they blend out beautifully Getting into eyes, I have two eyeliners that I swear by. This is the Lorac Pen. I use this for pretty much all of my liners. I have not found one to replace it or come close to it. This is the Front of the Line Pro Liner. It has like a brush applicator and I've been using this, you guys, for like eight, let's see, probably eight months now. And my applicator is still to a point. Easy to use, stays until I need to wash it off. Then if you need something for your waterline, because our waterline tends to get watery, the liner doesn't want to stay, this Milani Liquid Eye, I believe it's just in the shade O Black, this stuff stays like no other. I love it. It is super amazing for waterlining or tight lining your eyes. For waterproof mascaras, if you're going into the ocean or the pool or anything like that, I have two babies that I really love and tested in Kauai while I was there because I had two duds that were a no-go for waterproof, line, uh, waterproof mascara. But this one, the L'Oreal Voluminous, this is the waterproof and I actually got it in the shade brown because I like it to be a little bit more natural. This does not like completely stay when it comes off, it just super lightly flakes off. But even after being at the beach all day, I still have most of my mascara on my lashes. This is one of my mom's favorites. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara. She got it in the shade, mm, it doesn't even say the shade, but I know it's black and this stays absolutely perfectly. The wand is pretty nice and it does not budge her, her uh, mascara at all. Because I hate it when you look in the mirror and your mascara is like all down here, it's all smudged, awful. Those won't do it. To get my mascara off, I love using an oil cleanser if I'm using a waterproof. The Murad Renewing Cleanser Oil is perfect. I'll go in the shower, take a little bit on my hands, and rub it into my mascara. It comes off super easy and hydrates my eye along with it. Or if I just want to wash my face at night, I'll just put it on a little cotton pad, rub it on, it's gone. It doesn't sting my eyes, it doesn't make a mess, it just comes right off. For your eyebrows, my favorite brow product for whether I'm going to be in the hot summer heat or in the winter is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This stuff is amazing. It is um, smudge proof. I believe it's waterproof. So as long as you're not rubbing into your eyebrows, this stuff is going to stay. It's a really easy application and a super essential for summer. If I do anything when I go to the beach, it is putting my brows on and a little bit of mascara that is it. To keep my lips hydrated against any type of dryness or sunburn like I had at the pool a couple weeks ago, I've been using the Nivea Lip Butter. This is the Raspberry Rose Kiss. This stuff is so creamy and like delicious. It just makes your lips feel like whipped heaven. I can't get it open to show you because I don't even know. There we go. But it is just a dream. It's like a whipped creamy dream for your lips. Super hydrating and keeps my lips from cracking and 
turning into a gross mess. For summer lip products, I have three recommendations. I have a lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. These are great formulas if you want to go for something a little bit lighter and not like super pigmented and crazy. This will keep your lips nice and hydrated. Then if you want to go for something a little bit more matte or layerable, the NYX um, Matte Lip Creams are so great. They will stay for like five hours, even more if you use a primer. These babies are absolutely amazing. Love, 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 love these. Then for my Holy Grail lip product, if you're into lip junkiness, um, this is the Lime Crine Velvet Lips. This is, I think, pink velvet. This stuff goes on your lips like liquid loveliness. It stays there. It doesn't need to be reapplicated. Even if I wear it for like 14 hours, I ate, I am at the salon all day under heavy lights, doing all kinds of stuff. This baby is like magic. So amazing for if you like wearing lip stick, even if you're going to wear it to the beach. I mean, hey, some girls like to wear a little bit more makeup to the beach and that's perfectly fine. You get this baby. So my last beauty product summer essential is going to be polishes. Now the polish that I'm wearing on my nails today is this really fun purple color. This is by Jessie Girl. You can pick up these polishes at CVS. Um, this is in the shade Wild Thing. Super fun, crazy color. Their nail polishes are super inexpensive. I have two more. This one is called Confetti. It's like a purple with blue sparkles. And then I got this one, which is... Glee, I think, G-L-E-E. -E. This looks like the best mermaid shade on the face of the planet. These are only a few bucks. You can pick them up at, um, right, did I say CVS? I got these at Rite Aid. I'm sorry. At Rite Aid. They're only a few dollars. Great summer nail. They have a whole bunch of really fun, vibrant shades. And then there is the good old OPI. I actually wanted to share this specific color with you. This is the Life Gave Me Lemons, the most beautiful neon green you've ever seen. Really fun on your toes or as like an accent nail or even all your nails for summer. So I have two summer fashion essentials to share with you. One of them is of course going to be sunglasses and I have like four sunglasses here that I want to share with you. You can tell my favorite style is like these, let me make sure I have it all in frame, these like cat eye sunglasses. So let me show you, I got these, this one is from Forever 21, so fun, one of my favorites right now actually, just gives you that really cute cat eye, really inexpensive. This one is from Icing, I've seen similars at Forever 21, another cat eye, I have sunscreen all over it because I wore them to the beach yesterday. Then I have these ones, and this is the Human Skull. Um, I'll put, I think it's like Yanish is the exact style of these sunglasses. These are a little bit more hippie fun with the style of the shade and then the little keyhole look. And then my last is a classic. These are just super cheap ones from Forever 21, my little aviators, which are really great for summer style. So bathing suits are of course the summer must have. I have four tops that I want to share with you. And a trick to getting more bang for your buck with bathing suits is buy a few bottoms that are kind of neutral colors and wear multiple times. So like I have this top right here from Victoria's Secrets that I love. It's so amazing. I have a pair of this melon color bottoms. I have a turquoise bottom and a white bottom. So I can kind of mix whatever I want with it. Then I have this top from Target that is just a cute little traditional triangle top. I have a pair of navy bottoms, white bottoms, and I even wear these with my turquoise bottoms. Then this brand of bathing suit is so, so fun. This is a newer one. I'll put a link to the name below because I do not know how to pronounce it. But how awesome is this bathing suit top? It is so unique. It has little, like this little cage in the front that is just the most beautiful design. And then in the back, it has the straps that can be adjusted. And then the back is kind of like a twisted style. Super fun and really, really just like different. Then by the same company, I got this top that I have fallen in love with. It's just a plain black one. It's got ruching in the front with an underwire cup. Super comfortable, holds my girls in. And then in the back, it has this really cute crisscross design that is hard to hold up. 
and then it just has a band that goes across. This company is a little bit more on the expensive side for tops, but if you just want to buy their tops and then buy like cheaper bottoms, their bathing suit tops are absolutely amazing. They have some incredible one pieces. So these are, this is going to be my new favorite bathing suit line ever. So the last thing that I have to share with you, I need to kind of get set up. I don't know why I'm starting. So the last thing that I have to share with you is this really cool thing that I got for my husband for Christmas actually, but of course I use it. And it is a speaker for by the pool side, if you're going camping, if you're going to the beach. There is a little cord on the inside that can be charged by USB, so that's how you charge it, it's just a USB, so your phone charger, computer, whatever. And then it has a little plug right here that is an audio cord that can connect to your iPhone, iPod iPad whatever you have and then it has a little off and on switch and then you just close this up you can put your phone inside or leave it outside if you want you just close this up it has this really cool little connector so you can hang it if you want you can put it on your pocket you can hang it from your umbrella and then you just go to your phone click on your music and it's a really fun small portable speaker so let me just turn up the volume so it's just a great little speaker for when you're kind of hanging out. I love to have it at the beach. It's just this cute little small thing that's really easy to tote around so I'm not carrying a huge boom box. And I will put the name of the brand in the description bar below so that you can see exactly where I got it. So now that this video is probably uber long, I just wanted to share with you a bunch of my favorite products for summer favorite things that I love to use with a few options. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and have an amazing summer and I can't wait to be sharing with you guys a bunch of fun hair tutorials, makeup looks, and all kinds of other stuff. So I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!